inside with you. Chrissy, thanks. Most kids may not be physically in the classrooms, but they still need school supplies. Sarah Billiou from STCCU joining us now with how we can all support local students by stuffing the bus. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Okay, here's the cool thing. Normally we'd have the bus in the back and I know we started this a while back. We're almost there, but we need that extra push. Tell me about what, what is needed. SCCCU Stuff the Bus is collecting monetary donations to buy school supplies for the 22,000 homeless students in the county. And just like you said, Raul, you're right. Even though they're not in the classroom, yeah. the students still need school supplies even more so because they don't have the opportunity to share with one of their friends or have their teacher sure. hand them a notebook. So the need now is even greater. And it's shocking when you hear, you know, and we've heard these numbers before, 22,000 homeless kids in San Diego. Um, it, it's like we should all be ashamed of this, really. That, that should never be the case. 22,000, wow. it's a huge number. And uh, being homeless doesn't necessarily mean living on the streets. It's sharing a house sure. with multiple families. It's living in a hotel room, living in somebody's garage on a family member's couch. It's really um, not having a stable home yeah. on any given day during the previous school year, which is where that number comes from. That's not ideal in a normal world, let alone the world we're all trying to adjust to now. What supplies specifically, what do we need now? Pretty much anything that you would find in the school supply aisle at um, your local store. So notebooks, pens, papers, crayons, scissors, everything you name it we are going to use the money that we collect to purchase these supplies awesome. and ship them directly to the schools and the students and all the donations obviously are going to be done virtually this year right so how much will the donations be able to provide because I, I i like the formula you guys have so that people can kind of visualize if you give 20 bucks what that can provide for a kid kind of do a little rundown for me so twenty dollars will purchase an elementary school backpack and and filled with supplies, wow. and twenty five will uh, purchase a filled secondary backpack. So it's a very small donation to make a really big difference in the lives of these students. I mean, it really is. Uh, and when you look at what even even the three hundred dollar mark, you can get a case filled with backpacks for middle and high school. That, that's amazing. Uh, what is the that's goal exactly here? Because I know right. we're close. The more money we collect, the more purchasing power we have. So hmm. those costs go down for sure. Wow. Uh, the goal, I know we're close. We're not quite there, but we're close. We are so close. I am incredibly proud of the generosity of San Diegans. Uh, right now, we've collected just over $116,000 wow. towards our $125,000 goal. Um, that's due in part to some generous donors. 20000 came from the Dana Foundation, 5000 came from Blue Shield, and we encourage everyone to uh, donate to this cause and help us reach our goal. And I think this is going to do it. San Diego is going to step up like we always do. How can parents, um, perhaps the parents who need that extra help, how can they get it? Yes, there's a lot of parents that need extra help right now. And I would advise them to connect with their school. Each school in San Diego County has a homeless liaison um, that they can work with to help get their students the supplies that they need. Sarah Billiou from SDCCU, we thank you as always. Keep up the great work. Thank you. If you would like to donate, head to fox5sandiego.com right now and click that scene on tab.